Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a great little tool for your sewing room, iron fusible thread. You can use it in your bobbin or in your top thread or both. And it's great for appliques, for lining up patterns in your fabric, and even to make a perfect quilt binding. This is Iron Infuse, an iron fusible thread by Wonderfill. It will actually melt and temporarily glue your fabric down when exposed to the heat of an iron. There's a lot of things you can use it for, so let's check them out. You can use this thread to match stripes, plaids, and patterns. You don't need a sewing machine for this one. Lay the thread on the right side of the fabric along where you want the seam to be. Then take your second piece, line the pattern up to where you want it, and leave it right sides facing together. Give your fabric a quick press, and the fusible thread will keep everything in place without pins. This thread is a great tool for doing applique. Wind the iron and fuse in, on an empty bobbin and use a regular sewing thread on top. Stitch around the applique shape, press and then trim closely. If you happen to place your applique incorrectly, you can peel it up, move it and refuse it in place. Use a decorative stitch on the raw edges of the fabric to finish appliquing it down. The result is a natural looking applique without the stiffness of fusible interfacing. It also helps to reduce the puckering caused by using pins. If you can still see the top thread, iron the piece to soften the glue, then pull the top thread out. This is a great tool for binding a quilt. Place your folded binding on the wrong side of your quilt. Use a tight zigzag to attach it to the quilt with the fusible thread in your bobbin and regular thread in the top. Now turn your binding to the right side and fuse over the seam. You can now stitch your binding down, stitching close to the edge. You'll be sure to catch the underside of your binding. You can also use this thread in the lower loopers of a serger. Serge around your hemline with the fusible thread in the lower looper of your serger and regular thread in the needle and upper looper. Turn up the hem and fuse. Then turn your work to the right side and stitch for a simple turned up hem. If you want to do a curved hem, run a row of long basting stitches along your edge with a regular thread in the needle and the fusible thread in the bobbin. Gently pull up your bobbin thread to ease in the shape of your curved hem. And then fuse your hem in place. This will make hand stitching your hem in place easier. You could also turn your work right side up to machine stitch your hem without worrying about the hem being distorted on the underside. Here's a great way to secure a zipper. Baste your zipper opening closed, then press the seam open. Run a row of zigzag stitching along both seam allowances with the fusible thread in the needle and the bobbin. Center your zipper under the seam and press both sides to fuse down the seam allowances and at the same time fuse your zipper in place. You can now stitch around your zipper without worrying about it shifting. When your stitching is complete, remove the basting thread that holds the opening closed. Here's a little trick for making pleats very crisp. Mark your pleat lines on your fabric. 
You can do both inside and outside pleats. Now stitch a scant 8 inch away from the marked lines with regular thread in the top and fusible thread in the bobbin. The bobbin thread should be on the inside of the pleat. Now press along your marked lines. The fusible thread will help to make your pleats very crisp. So let us know how you like to use iron fusible thread in the comments below, or you can let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.